Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Excel video for you today. I'm going to take some data that has dates for every day starting on January 1, 2018. And I ran this through uh, March 14, 2021. This is my watch time for my YouTube channel. If you're saying, Chris, I don't care about your watch time for your YouTube channel, great. Some days I don't care about it either. But assume that at your company, this is either daily revenue. This could be the number of calls that come into your call center or support center. This could be the number of help desk tickets you get. It can be whatever numeric value you want it to be in column B. What I want to point out in this video is I can make a chart in Excel using insert chart. But this is what I want to do is I want the chart to be grouped by years and then grouped by months. Well, I've just got dates here, month, date, and year. So go into insert and in recommended charts. None of these are going to work for me. They're technically correct, but they're not any good. So we're going to first make a pivot table. Two, we're going to ungroup the dates. And then the third item, I'm going to go back and group the dates and end up with a pivot chart, which will show exactly what I want to see. So here we go. Let's make the pivot chart right now. Insert tab, pivot chart. Y'all know this. Five clicks to make a pivot chart. It picked up my entire range. Click OK. I'm going to get a new tab at the bottom. I'm going to check date. I'm going to check watch time. Just to be clear about this, over here in these uh, four different areas, it took the date and put it in the rows area and broke it out by year, quarter, and then it says date. So I got year and quarter because it is the date field. And then it took the sum of my watch time. And again, this could be your revenue, the number of calls at your call center. So step the next step is I want to ungroup the dates. So let's go to pivot table, analyze, and in the group section is ungroup. Be real careful here. Make sure you're not in column B because ungroup is not available. So click any one of these years and hit ungroup. So now I'm basically just looking at my data again. There's the date and there's the numeric value. So I'm going to go back to group and I'm going to tell it to group by years and months. Hit OK. So now I've got 2018, January through December, 2019. Good. Now that I've got this pivot table this way, let's go make our pivot chart because this is where I want to end up at. Click it once. There it is actually already right there. Mouse over it. It gives you a preview. Hit OK. Take a look at the chart in the bottom left. I got the year 2018. Then I've got January through December. Then 2019, January through December. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Because with just this data right here, back on my original worksheet, just insert charts, not going to get it. So we created a pivot table and then we made our pivot chart. And we ungrouped the dates and then grouped them back by year and month. There you go. Feel free to give me any comments down below. If you haven't, feel free to subscribe if you want to. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.